So here's the Thunkable site. If you already have an account, go ahead and click log in. But if you don't, that's totally fine. Click sign up and you can sign up with your email. So I'm going to enter my email. Um, click start building and name it whatever you want, the calculator and create. So um, over here we have our left panel, which is our in the component section. This is where you'll be designing your app and adding features to your app. And so let's go ahead and drag a button onto the screen. And you can go ahead and customize this button in the properties tab right over here. So go ahead and make it your favorite color. My favorite color is green. And you can also change the text. Now go ahead and drag a label and also a text input. And over here on the design tree, you can like move components around. So I want the text input to be above and then the button to be down below here. Now to make our calculator, we need a plus sign button, a button to subtract things, a button to multiply two things and a button to divide it. So I'm going to drag some buttons to my screen. Um, right now it's in like a column, but I want it to be in a single row rather than a column. So for me, I'm going to go search this row component. Now drag it in and I'm going to move the row so it's just under the text input. Now I'm gonna drag my buttons into the row component. Now I'm going to rename the buttons. So instead of submit, I'm gonna click, I'm gonna type plus and just to make it easier on me, I'm also going to rename this button to just plus. And then on the second button, it's minus for subtraction. Just to be consistent, I'm going to change all of this to green. And also, it's kind of like squished here. So I'm going to change the spacing. So scroll down where there's like a margin and I'm just going to do 10. And for the label, just to make it more specific, I'm just going to type result here. Let's say we want to add two numbers together. Well, we need another text input box, right? So for this one, will be type the first number. I'm going to name it to num1 first number. And then this is going to be type your second. Okay, now let's go ahead and preview it. So you can click this preview button here. And Go ahead and type some things. You can click any button here. But as you can see, um, nothing is happening right now. That's because we only designed our app. We haven't coded anything yet. So these are examples of user interface components. And user interface is what the user can see and interact. So now I've designed my app and now I have to think about um, how am I going to make these buttons work? So one of the ways that can help us is something called a pseudocode. A pseudocode is basically you're writing out a 
step-by-step -step process of how you're going to do something, but in English. So we're not doing anything with code just yet. So for our pseudocode, we want to outline what we want to do for our app. So the first thing we're going to do is her to numbers, right? And then they're going to click um, the function, whether it's they want to add numbers, subtract numbers, times number, or divide the two things together. Next, we want to display the result to do. So this is something called pseudocode. And it's basically writing what you want to do in English. Now, uh, we're going to go ahead and go to the block section because we're ready to code our program. And so here we have categories and then here we have our components. So now I want to introduce something that's called an event handler. So event handlers allow you to tell the computer when to do something. So in this case, when the plus button is clicked, we want to add two numbers, right? So we're going to go to our plus button. And here, when the plus is clicked, then what we want to do is we want to add two numbers and also display the result in a label, right? So go ahead and go to the label. And I want you to drag this second block now from label one, set text to blank. And then we're going to go to our math function right here. Because we're adding two numbers, then we go to our first number and from our first number, we get the text, which is what the user enters. And then from the second number. So now if you test it out, let's go back to our design and test one and two and plus button and it shows up three. So yay, we're almost there. So that is our um, calculator app for adding. Now we just have to add functions for when we click the subtract sign and the multiplication sign, etc. So when minus button is clicked, then from our label, we set the text to the first number minus the second number. Okay, and then we do the same thing for our multiplication. So your code should look something like now, what we just did is we converted our step-by-step -step process to code. So this step-by-step -step process where we converted our planning into code is called an algorithm. An algorithm is a step-by-step -step process in which you tell a computer what to do. So you give the computer a set of instructions. Now let's go ahead and test our app. Three times two, and if I add it, it gives me five. Subtract it, times, and divide. Okay. So that is it, everyone, for our lesson today. Make sure to watch the Thunkable Basics tutorials. Thank you guys so much for coming.